Gate and Prince William unveil beautiful unseen snap of day Queen and Philip met Charlotte. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have paid tribute to Prince Philip with a heartwarming image of when the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh met Princess Charlotte. Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, shared an image of when Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip met their second great-grandchild, Princess Charlotte, in 2015. The image was posted on their official Twitter account. Tweeting the picture, William and Kate said, Today we share, along with members of the royal family, photographs of the Duke of Edinburgh, remembering him as a father, grandfather and great-grandfather. This picture was taken at Balmoral in 2015. This comes days after Prince Philip sadly passed away peacefully at Windsor Castle on Friday. The Duke of Edinburgh was two months away from celebrating his 100th birthday and his funeral will take place on Saturday. Buckingham Palace issued a statement following Philip's death and said the royal family join with people around the world in mourning. The statement read, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. Prince William already paid tribute to his grandfather, describing him as an extraordinary man. He said, My grandfather was an extraordinary man and part of an extraordinary generation. Catherine and I will continue to do what he would have wanted and will support the Queen in the years ahead. I will miss my grandpa but I know he would want us to get on with the job. Other members of the royal family paid tribute to the Duke ahead of his funeral on Saturday. Prince Charles shared a touching montage dedicated to Philip's life and work on Twitter. Images featured in the short video show the Duke both on official duties as well as time spent with his children. Posting the video on Twitter, the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall wrote, over the course of his life, the Duke of Edinburgh was associated with 992 organizations in areas including technology, conservation, education and the welfare of young people. Prince Philip's other children have all paid tribute to him following his sad passing. Princess Anne said, You know it's going to happen but you are never really ready. My father has been my teacher, my supporter and my critic but mostly it is his example of a life well lived and service freely given that I most wanted to emulate. Philip's youngest child, Prince Edward, said the death of his father had been a dreadful shock. The Earl of Wessex said, it's been a bit of a shock however much one tries to prepare oneself for something like this it's still a dreadful shock. And we are still trying to come to terms with it and it's very, very sad. He added, but I have to say the extraordinary tributes and the memories that everybody has had and been willing to share has been so fantastic. It just gets to show he might have been our father, grandfather, father-in-law but he meant so much to so many other people. Prince Andrew added how his father was a remarkable man and the country has lost the grandfather of the nation. The Duke of Edinburgh's funeral will take place at 3 p.m. this Saturday and will adhere to COVID restrictions. Under the current measures, funerals are restricted to just 30 people. While it is unknown who will be attending, Prince Harry arrived back in the UK on Sunday to attend the funeral. Very sad. He added, 
but I have to say the extraordinary tributes and the memories that everybody has had and been willing to share has been so fantastic. It just gets to show he might have been our father, grandfather, father-in-law but he meant so much to so many other people. Prince Andrew added how his father was a remarkable man and the country has lost the grandfather of the nation. The Duke of Edinburgh's funeral will take place at 3 p.m. this Saturday and will adhere to COVID restrictions. Under the current measures, funerals are restricted to just 30 people. While it is unknown who will be attending, Prince Harry arrived back in the UK on Sunday to attend the funeral.